And the second question I have is, um, should one advise his brother to not commit a sin, even though he himself, the one who's trying to advise, he falls into that sin at times? No. It's a good question, mashallah. And uh, as we talked about that before, uh, there are two different acts of uh, obedience to Allah, part of our deen. Is that you don't do a sin, and there's another thing called al-amr al-ma'roof wa al munkar to enjoin good and forbid evil. And they're both separated from one another, that means you have to do both, if uh, both applies. Uh, even though people might not listen to you, uh, but you still have to do it. So as the very uh, clear example that we mentioned before, Shafi and others, they mentioned, if two people are sitting, drinking wine, they're both committing the sin of drinking. But if someone, one of them, says to his brother or his companion, whatever there is, it's haram for you to drink wine. He even doesn't say it's haram for us. It's haram for you to drink wine. Of course, what is going to be his reply? He's going to laugh. So look at you. Are you drunk? So, uh, <laughs> but if that person says to him, it's haram for you to drink wine, he, already, he, he only committed one sin, which is drinking. But he distanced himself from the other sin, which not forbidding the evil that is happening. Of course, if he says this, and that person did not listen to him, he's supposed to leave. Of course, he won't leave, so he continued to with the both sins. So the point here is, it's yes, if someone, if a brother, he's upon a sin. It doesn't have to be very obvious, and they're both committing it. It might be a sin that nobody knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person knows that he's upon that sin. And he will go advise someone else that doing the same sin, this is a, a duty upon him. And it's not an act of hypocrisy. And that's uh, with, he has to work on himself. Hypocrisy is that he's happy with his state of being sinful and he goes around and advises people while he really doesn't care about himself. But he's worried about himself, but at the same time, it's one of the ways to push away the harm from oneself is to enjoy good and forbid evil. And if only the ones that are sinless would not uh, would enjoy good and forbid evil, nobody would enjoy good and forbid evil because nobody's sinless.